Today I'm going to show you how you can import texture packs into the Bedrock Edition of Minecraft. And I'm going to show you two different ways you can do this. One is um, really simple and it's and that's how most imports should go. And another one is for when things get a little bit complicated. So stick around to see that. So the first thing you actually want to do is head right out of Minecraft. And then the second thing you want to do is ignore all of this clutter on my desktop right here. And now, of course, to import a pack, you need a pack, don't you? And if you are looking for cool packs, then I definitely recommend Planet Minecraft. I also post my texture packs on here, and you can find the links to this down in the description. So for this sake, I've gotten one of my own texture packs, um, a borderless glass texture pack. And the most of the times that you download a Minecraft Bedrock pack, it is going to look something like this. It should have the grass icon. Um, and now you need to make sure that you have this pack on an account on your computer where you have installed the Bedrock edition of Minecraft and that is functioning. And if you have, then you should see that grass icon. And then all you need to do is double click on that file and then the Minecraft should open right up. As you can see here in Minecraft it says import has started and then successfully imported and then whatever the name of the pack was. Now you still need to activate it and to do that you can head into settings over here, scroll down and you'll see this tab called global resources. You can click on this and then on my packs. And these are all the packs that you have in Minecraft. Here, as we can see, here is the borderless glass texture, the one I just imported. So we can click on it once, then click on activate. And now here under the active tab, we have this borderless glass texture pack. And if you activate it this way, then it will work for whenever you enter a Minecraft server or world. However, you might not want that. So, you can also only activate it for a specific world. And to do that, you can head to any world you want, click on the edit button, then go over to resource packs, and then you can add on a resource pack specifically that will only work for that world. Anyways, if you're unlucky, then here is another scenario that might be the case. Here we have the texture pack. It's Itsmusic4's borderless texture pack dot zip. And now if your pack looks like this and you do not see dot zip at the end, what you need to do is you need to head into file explorer, go over to the view tab up here, go to show, and then make sure that file name extensions is ticked. If it is, then you can go back out and you should see whatever the name of the pack is, and then with .zip at the end. And now if you double click on that, it won't let it import you into Minecraft. And that's what we're gonna change right now. What you wanna do is you wanna right click it, go over to rename, and then you want to remove the dot zip from the end. And then you want to replace that dot zip with dot mc pack. That is dot mc p a c k. Then once you have done that, you can just click and it and your computer will tell you that if you change a file name extension, the file might become unusable. But in this case, the file will still be usable and you can just click on yes. Then once you've renamed it, you should see the Minecraft grass icon. Then you can double click on it and Minecraft should automatically launch. And then it can be imported into Minecraft in the exact same way which I just showed you a few minutes ago. And now heading into a Minecraft world, you can see that all this glass is borderless and the pack was imported successfully. And that's it, I don't have much more to say, but you might, and if you have any questions, then feel free to leave those down in the comments section below. 
Anyways, leave a like if this video helped you out, and I hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye!